following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials up 34. Nasdaq's up 25. S&Ps are up 8. Gold contracts down $10.1189. We have silver down 17 cents, $16.65 an ounce. Um, copper is flat at 266 a pound. We get the light sweet crude down 17 cents, $52.84 a barrel. Notes, you get the 10-year note. Down 15 ticks, 124.13. 30-year bond off a full point, plus 5 ticks, 151.14. King dollar, King dollar's up 213 ticks, 101.590. You get the euro at 106, the yen's at 115.27. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex plat platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. Hit the banner. You can bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these defined option contracts trade. Um, bottom line, the banks come out with the numbers. Yeah, nothing too surprising, right? Yeah, no, what's surprising to me, and this is where, you know, J.P. Morgan, you know, you know, had this high-volume swing here at, you know, January 3rd, 87.76. And, you know, I felt the wanted to get tested anyway. So it's getting tested now. We did uh, 20 million shares there. It looks like I can do 20 million shares. So the real kick is going to be, does it close over that number? Bank of America, that come out with numbers. Uh, Bank of America, you know, also looked to me like I wanted to test that high volume swing, which is 2330. It's testing it right now. Um, now, that's done 60 million. That's 225. What I'm surprised at, well, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo come up with numbers. Now, they missed their numbers, but that's still up. Uh, what's surprising to me is that when this was happening this morning, I expected that the futures would be able to catch the bid, and they haven't. You know, so it's like, okay, you know, you come in, it's the weekend, futures can't catch a bid. Um, Any futures you're talking about in particular, or just every one of them? I, just because yeah, they're all up? Just, well, no, they're, they're up, but what I, what I mean specifically is that if we take a look at the S&Ps, I mean, okay. when you, the, the, the bank, the SH7, um, you know, all these banks move higher. To me, this should have basically been up like 20 bucks or something. Do you know okay, what I'm saying? 20 points, sure. Yeah, you know. And um, intraday, um, prior to, it, it's already got a good bump up. Um, you know, you can see right at... Uh, it's at nine, I guess right at 9.30. You know, we, we were trading at 22.67, and then it got a good bump up of five points. Sure. You know. Um, so we'll see what we'll see if this, the baby shakes out. Um, if you come over to our, the, the Nadex platform, folks, NQ... Back it up. You got to us. Okay. Thank you. NQH7. Right now, I'm underwater. So what I did out here this morning... So when all this was happening, right, I... What I was looking at is that on the, Na the NASDAQ, okay, which has been strong. There's no two ways about that. NASDAQ hit another high Let's yesterday. Put it lightly. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> um, so on the, on the NASDAQ, uh, bottom line, I sold this NASDAQ uh, at uh, 50.40. And you're at 50, 56 right now. Okay. Uh, now, and, and when, you, when you trade these contracts, folks, okay, this one here, I, I do every day it's a little bit different what I do. Now, this one was at the top of the box. Okay. So it looks like you sold it at 50.31. The market was trading at 50.40? Yeah, yeah so. yes, right, okay. right, all right. And, and so I had two different choices here, and I'll explain to you why I did this one, okay? Both of them, to me, I was going to risk basically 400 bucks. Uh, one of them I could have sold the middle of the spread. Sure. But it was right at the middle, and I said, you know what, man? I really don't want to... Sure. So I'm just jumping around. I can yeah. see as So this is the spread you're in, 50.40. Right. To five thousand on the square. So you're right. talking about forty points, four hundred dollar spread. It was trading about fifty forty when you got in. Right. So of course you're not going to get in at fifty forty. Then you'd be risking nothing to make four hundred. Nobody's right. going to give you that side. So right. that's why 
you know, when it was trading at about 50-40, yeah, the spread probably was trading at about 50-32, right? So you're risking $82 per contract there for about $320 of right. potential profit. Right. Yeah, and I can see right away you just go up, right? And this is the one you were probably examining, taking a look at as well, 50-20 to 50-60. No, I was doing the 80 point. I was oh, looking okay. at the 80 point oh, okay. one. That it, works right here, sure. Yeah. yeah. And so, so that's interesting. We look at both, right? So you right. could have done both of those, as in this is the one where 50 40 would have been square in the middle, so you yes. would have been risking 400 right. to, make, to 400. make 400. And you could have done the same thing with risking 200 to make 200 on the 40 point spread, okay, which right. happened to be in the same. I, right. Just to right. put all the possibilities out there. Right. Yeah. So we'll see, and, and with the, with the dip, where my head was going, I says, you know what? If this breaks top size, it's going to break top size. I'm going to lose 400 anyway. <laughs> That's good. It, when so, you say anyway versus because you're risking only 82 dollars per contract on the one that you traded. Versus having to risk four hundred dollars on the one. That's right, but I bought five of them. I was gonna, I okay. was, gonna, I was coming into the day saying okay. I'll, I'll risk four hundred. That's where, that's okay. where my head was going. You I see what you. I'm saying? That, that's, you. and so I, I was saying, okay, I'd rather risk. And 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 in that context, where my head was going is that I, having the 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 banks not basically break out. You know, knowing that Amazon yesterday really went topside in a huge way. You know, so. What do you mean, knowing? One, what, one, 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 correlation, yeah. one correlation would be that, okay, so, you, so you, you, you get the banks not breaking out, but that really has nothing to do with the, with the NASDAQ composite. Do you know what I'm saying? So, especially NASDAQ, the NASDAQ 100, right? Right. So that, has, that, that, has, that has everything to do with... Financials, um, right? Uh, with the Dow Industrials. Sure. Okay. Uh, um, okay, yeah. You know. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6640. You have 6648? 64, that's my, my cell phone number. I'll be right back. No, that wasn't it. Oh. <laughs> Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, I do appreciate your growling a problem with us out here. Uh, let's go and take a look uh, inside these uh, indices and see what we have. We'll go to the NDX 100 first. So inside the NDX 100, the move is out here. You got to uh, look at the chips are going. Okay. Lamb Research is up 2.4%. You got uh, Checkpoint Software up 2%. Netflix is up one9 So Netflix, so check this out. I was, I was looking at this this morning. So... What has happened with Netflix is that they, the, the market always continues to say, man, they spend so much money for content, okay, you know, they're never going to run out of money and all this, right? Sure. Well, what has happened out here this morning, let me see if I can find the story. They just put a, um, their bonds, right, just got much more valuable okay. because they're not burning cash. Oh, okay. Um, like the bond market thought they were going to burn cash. They, okay. they, they, they lend okay. money, they, they can borrow money very inexpensively anyway. Sure. Um, but I saw there was headlines going across, so that's pretty intense. Yeah. So they're probably at a tipping point now, do you know what I mean? That they have so much content um, that just more people are coming on, whether it's $10 a month, you know what I mean? That they're, yeah. they're not burning cash like they were. We'll so. see. I see. It. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's obviously up huge, so I'm sure that's playing out. It's just quite well, a. Go ahead. Th this is that's the equity, but if I can find the, it's the bonds themselves are up. They're. Uh, okay. Bond, yeah, bond yields. There. Where, where is it? I just saw it. <laughs> okay. We'll we'll. Um, pull it up during one of the breaks. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so. Uh, Go back to the NDX as to what's moving it. Uh, oh, Tesla. You know, Tesla, man, that's an ABC structure up, too. It broke the B point. Let's look at this this morning. It's, it's, that was a good buy, man. And what's the news on them coming up? Um, let's see. Let's see what they have to say. Dyson Hyper Tesla. Pricing structure for, no, that's the 12th. What day? No, that's, well, yeah. 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 Bottom line is that you get buyers. So. Uh, can you go back to that one? Yep. The top one, Dyson higher from Tesla's electric car expectation. Oh no, that's a Dyson article more than a, a Tesla article. Okay, yeah, we'll see. And so, and when you do look at Tesla, folks, is that what you're going to see? You know, you broke a B point of a monster ABC up, and you did that on the fourth of uh, January, and it's a big one. You know, the A point is 180, your B is uh, 223, so you get 43 bucks. Your C point is 211, so 250. Yeah, four. 254. And it's, you know, it's quite a ways up. It's breaking again, All right? And what you have to help you inside Tesla is look at that chart position, yeah. twenty-seven point eight. That's intense. Man. So lots of haters. On lots, that. lots <laughs> of haters and <laughs> on the Tesla train yep. for sure. And uh, we go over to uh, the losers today inside the NDX one hundred. You have uh, Cognizant te Technologies down one percent. Microns off seven tenths. What's that? Riley, O'Reilly uh, Autom Automotive uh, down seven tenths. Excuse me. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness up. Excuse me. Uh, out here, J.P. Morgan's the strength. That's up 1.5 percent. Travels up seven tenths. Goldman's up seven tenths. Taken away from it, nothing heavy. Pfizer's down six tenths. Walmart's up five tenths. Coke's down five tenths. What's interesting with Coke? This this is uh, you know for a monster company this is having a tough time i mean it looks like it's going to go test that high volume swing low yeah and i guess as they turn from sugary drinks to to something else that keeps people yeah. addicted they having a they having <laughs> a tough addicted. time i mean they're huge in water business let alone everything else so yeah we're all right. addicted to water if that's right what, you know they do i mean obviously even in the u.s we're we're, we're pushing away from soda for sure right but they're so they're so spanning different drinks at this point that they knew that was coming, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, gold, folks, this is going to get interesting because the uh, GDX uh, and NUGT just caught a bid. Um, what you have uh, inside the GDX, GDX 
You're trading at 2215. Uh, we're at 2266. This is a, this is a nice setup, uh, particularly on a Friday. Um, we go to... Uh, Friday of a long weekend coming up. Yeah, too. Friday of the long weekend, man. And that, that, that weekend, so check this out. This is what's going to be really intriguing, uh, is that this, this Sunday night, the metals and the currencies will be trading big time. You know, because this is just the, a U.S. holiday. Okay. Uh, what does what I've seen happen is that it seems though when we are on holiday, right? Markets slow down around the world. You know, they do. I'm sure, it doesn't they, seem right. No, I'm sure just, that's how it is. Yeah, right? you know, yeah. Not that it you just know, seems that way. Of course, um, when you take America out of the equation. Right. Right. You know. Um, so you know, currency wise, we'll see where it's shaken out. Uh, the gold contract. Um, you know, they basically try to hammer this baby down this morning. Um, and, you know, you're coming into a high-volume uh, area where we went topside. And you have 329,000 contracts, you know, from January 11th. So it's going to be hard to hammer that. Yeah. If gold, you know, right now, folks, we're at 1193. The low of that high-volume day uh, is 1177. We didn't even get close to it. We got, it's only Wednesday, just to put it. Yeah, with the, yeah thank you. Uh, we only got to 1187. So that's... That's a yeah. nice indication uh, that, and what we got, now watch this, intraday, which is pretty cool. Intraday, we came right back to where the strength was, where it went topside at 1 o'clock on Wednesday. Yeah, same day. You know? yeah. So when you look at this intraday, there was 14,000 contracts. This is crazy, because look at that bar. The, the bottom of that bar is 1188.30, and we went to 1187.50. And we came down to it, so watch, that's 14,000 versus 6,500. Sure. Isn't it weird? <laughs> you love that word, weird. Well, it, 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 what blows my mind is that when, when it does it, it's like, you know, I mean, I've been doing it for so long that that's how I trade, but I, I still think it's weird. It's like, okay, there's no more, there's no more buys. They're like, what made it come all the way down to that level? And it just rejected it. You know, especially, especially when you're dealing with big numbers like this. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, that's just crazy. <laughs> 877-927-6648. Um, so, Sunday night, uh, I expect what we're going to see. If we bring up the Nadex platform again, I was just saying to Tommy, I signed back in again because I wanted to see what they had to say. What happens, folks, when you sign in? You're going to see uh, a welcome, and they're, they're going to tell you um, what uh, Exchanges are trading or not trading. They, they have announcements. Yes, that they'll right. tell you right. as you log in. Right. Um, do you know by chance if maybe they had an announcement that you checked off previously? That's what I didn't say to you during the break, which is definitely a possibility because I just want to. I what I what I always do with these. I always put save and continue. Okay. That's what I do, okay. just so in case I can okay. go back. Sure. You know. Um, is it to, but yeah. No, with, with, with my, you know, I suspect what's going to happen there. That's going to be Sunday night probably. You know, uh, but I, I suspect what will also more than likely happen is that the currencies will trade. You know, we'll fi we'll find out when you sign in. We will. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Right now, you get the Dow up sixteen, Nasdaq's up twenty eight, S and P's are up seven and a half. Be right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. 
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 13. You get the NASDAQ up 29. s and is up 7. And when you come over to our website, at TFNN, folks, you're going to see right under breaking news, pricing time when trading binary options. So we've talked about it a couple times. Uh, I write some pieces for binaryoptions.nadex. Yeah. And this is one of the articles I put out this morning at about 8 in the morning. Um, so pricing time when trading binary options. So what I did is I took a look at the S&P 500 weekly binary options and I looked at the weeklies because last night they're available okay. you know even at 345 in the afternoon I took a, a look at the binary options in the S&P 500 so here is 345 yesterday yeah okay so we're just coming up to the close okay S&P is trading now this is the March contract the indicative index 2265 yeah and here are a few of the weekly binary options okay so we have one um, that's trading at 22, let me make sure I get these numbers right as they're a little bit tiny, looking them away from, 2274.50 is the upside, and I just, I logged into Nadex, so here's, yeah, 2274.50 is the upside, and what's interesting, right, is that, yeah. so the market last night, 2265 was trading at, okay. and conveniently enough, this morning, at 7.15 or so in the morning, yeah. it's trading at 22.65, 7.50. So okay. you're, you're within a half a point. So the awesome part about that is that when you can eliminate some of the variables, right, you get to examine time because right. price is the same. Right. All that's really changed is that instead From of- last night to this morning. Yeah, so instead of having 24 hours and yeah. about 29 minutes and 34 seconds to put it, so just over 24 hours last night, because yeah. it expired 4.15 on Friday, so you got 24 hours and about a half hour. And then this morning, you have about nine hours on the dot from 7.15 to 4.15 this afternoon. Okay. So to the upside, you originally, if let's say you're bullish, yeah. right? You buy at 26.25, your potential profit is 73.75, okay? With yeah. that, you're risking $1 of, poten for, of risk for every about $2.81 of potential profit. Okay. It's almost risk risking one to make three. Yeah. As opposed to this morning, the same trade with only nine hours, you're then risking one dollar because you'd be buying it at fourteen fifty right. for a potential profit of eighty five fifty. So you'd be risking one dollar for potential five dollars and eighty nine cents in profit. Wow. So what 
you know, you can take away from this. And same thing to the downside. I go over the examples yeah. in here. So you can check this out right under breaking news, pricing time when trading binary options. And what's cool is that, you know, what you want to understand is that what is your expectation right. and then what's the best way to trade it, right? So if you think that it's worth paying for that time and you think maybe that there could be overnight activity, right. then go for it, right? But if you think that the activity is going to take place Friday during the day, yes. then you'd be foolish to be paying for that binary option right. for all of the time you're paying for from 3.45 in the afternoon yesterday yep. till 7.15 in the morning this morning because you look at the risk-reward ratios and they're dramatically different, right? You know what's so cool about that too, man, is that you did that at 7.15 and the the bank earnings didn't come out to 745 so that's even better meaning because like okay I, a lot sure of, of that yeah because i was watching it uh, so okay so what happens a lot of traders are waiting for that i was waiting sure, for that okay right. so that's really cool that you still got a much bigger reward just on that time sure right yeah right because the, the bank earnings themselves you know i mean it didn't make it pop but that could have you know, that, sure. could, that could have popped up there. In and a you second. can see that the market was steady that whole time. Here is about 3.45. Right. That was our, you know, spike down, spike back up. And overnight, it was pretty flat. And so that's where, you know, if you're, if you're trading an out-of-the-money binary option yeah. and the market just goes flat, that's bad for your position, right? As in, right. you know, you can see that right. it went from a market of 21 by 26.25 to a market of 9.75 by 14.50. Same thing to the downside. Um, so that's just, you know, that's stuff that you can learn. You get in there, open a demo account, play with these things, get used to how they trade. Um, and same thing with the spreads, where you just want to be aware of, you know, how much time is left, how that's getting priced in there. And you weren't looking for a big pop there. I mean, that, you were looking for a pop of 22.74, right? That was the... Yeah, so I mean, you're looking okay. for a half percent to the upside, okay. just to put things, you know... I think your market expectation is, is with the volatilities coming in, you don't see a big move unless indices move over a percent on a daily basis, which is a big move for sure, but half a percent, that's a, that's a decent move. I mean, you're, you're risking one to make almost three. Right. So the market's saying that's only going to happen 26% of the time, even you know less than that. So in that, in that theory, it's, it's a decent move. It is. But I know what you're saying. Recently, we've been having those moves. And you know, just let me jump around to put it in where we are right now, right? I mean, we're at 2271. So here are the same contracts that we were looking at. So this morning at 715, yep. you could have bought the bullish one for 1450. And even right now, you could sell that for 3125 if you just wanted to get out, right? Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I encourage people to go over cool. there, open yeah. the demo account. Right. That way you're comfortable with when these things move, how the underlying, you know, how the binaries, how the spreads react to the underlying move. Big time. Yeah. Let's go to our man, Mike in Dallas. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Well, how are you all today? Hey, Mike. I have, uh, uh, I have uh, called you once before on this, but I wanted to get a, a more definitive uh, answer if I could. I have been, I have been doing uh, butterflies uh, on uh, Nadex using uh, the uh, NQ. Okay. Uh, I have been selling... Uh, these for around between twenty-five and thirty-five dollars. I have been buying them around seventy-five to eighty dollars. Now, in some cases, depending on the market, I will just pick one direction. Okay, I won't do a butterfly on absolutely every trade. These are twenty-minute binaries. Okay, and. Uh, you at one time said, you know, you ought to do about 100 trades to get a feel for the market. Well, I figured out last night on SIM, I've done 344 trades. That's a good sample. In the last month and a half. That's about six hours a day at 18 trades. Okay. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm almost... It, it about seventy five percent on the uh, on the positive. Can you, now, just what does that seventy five percent mean? That, that you're successful or that, that you're I'm profitable? I'm successful. That no, I'm successful, and in seventy five percent of my trades. But and you're risking uh, a lot more than you stand to make. Is that correct in those trades? That's as, correct. 
Well, that's, that's correct. But that's, so that success doesn't necessarily, where to, you know, do you see what I'm saying? You know, if you're risking 75% to make 25 and you're successful 75% of the time, that's actually a break-even strategy. That's all I'm trying. So where does that fall into the profitability? Um, Has well, it been a profitable strategy, I guess? That's just... Okay, well, the, the, because when I'm stopped out, I'm usually stopped out for around uh, $25, okay? So my maximum loss is around 25 to $30 per contract if I'm stopped out. Okay. I think I'm with so, you, but I'm a little bit lost what because is, you're training both sides, a, Mike. You know, yeah. you're training both sides. So which side are you getting stopped out of? Because that's that's where I'm. Hey, just stay with us a second. Okay. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You get the uh, Dow Industrials right now up seventeen. Nasdaq's up thirty one. S and P's are up seven and a half. We're gonna be right back, folks. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with I'm Mike from Dallas. We're talking about uh, he does butterfly spreads on the 20 minute binaries. So, Mike, what we've done, uh, we just uh, there's we just pulled up the 1040 uh, binary. So, the 11 a.m. So the, the 11 a.m. Yeah. So we're looking at just kind of because it's tough doing multi leg strategies, talking about hypotheticals for everyone to follow along. So looking at the 11 a.m. Okay. Nasdaq 100s right now. So 
you're looking for no volatility when you're trading this strategy, right, Mike? You're, you're well, that's basically correct. Sure, I just want to make sure um, we follow along. So, so you're going to be selling the the binary above the market, correct, and buying the binary below the market, correct? Correct. Sure. Okay. That is correct. That so, is correct. So, you know, right now Nasdaq 100 is trading at like 50, 55. Um, yes. So, just taking a quick peek, the 50, 60 binary, you can sell that. At, That's what I did. Okay. I sold it. So okay. you sold that. That's sure. So you could sell that at call it like 16.75 right now. Maybe if it gets up to 20, you're selling it with a max loss of 80, and then you jump down about a few points, and then you're buying the one. Um, below it, which is they're both in the money is what you're doing. So that's why when you're exactly. buying it, you're risking, you know, 75 to make the 25. So go ahead now. Where, where um, as you, as you, you know, work your way through this trade. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I guess I was just really wondering what, what you, you think about that. Well, I you mean, haven't told us how profitable you are yet in 300 plus trades, which is really the bottom line, man. No matter what I think, if you're making hundreds of trades over that time and you're profitable, you're, you're doing something well, right. So, so okay. where I, where I, just to put it, just to put it, the reason why the success rate of trades almost is yeah. meaningless, because if you're, okay. you know, you okay. can, I can, I can employ a trading strategy where I will be successful 90% of the time. I can tell it to anybody. Okay. But guess what? what? You're going to risk $95 to make $5 on that trade. So in the long run, right. you're going to lose money. So it doesn't matter how many times you're successful. What matters is how many times you're successful with a risk reward ratio in place you know okay well so far this week it's come out to about sixteen hundred and twenty five dollars plus again you know percentages matter if you're trading a million dollars over that time that's barely break even just to put things you know what i mean it, it, I, I, okay. it, would, it would that's I, yeah I, that's 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 okay that you got to stick okay. with percentages um because realistically, you know, it's 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 profitable in terms of a percentage basis. Because in these trades, you know, and and so so you know, in this one, if you're selling it at 18 on the positive side, you're risking 82 for a max right. profit of 18. You're buying it on the other side. Now, what's going to happen is is that most of the time that you know you have a lot at risk, but one of these should expire in the money. Correct. Right. Correct. Um, Correct. So these are complex strategies where you just really want to keep track of how much you're actually risking versus your potential reward. Um, and, and keep okay. that in mind because you may okay. be risking, you know, a lot more than you stand to make sometimes. And, and exactly. it might feel really good when you're, you're, you're winning three out of four okay. trades, but you could be risking 80% to make, you know, 20%, eight, risking $80 to make $20. And if you're risking $80, you know, it gets more complicated with multi-leg, but let's stay in the single sure. leg. Uh, you know, you could trade binaries okay. where you're trading out of the money binaries, risking 20 to make 80, or let's do it out the other way. I'm so used to that way. You're risking 80 to make 20, right? right? You have to win at least four out of five of those trades to break even. So you could, you know, call on the show and say, man, I got this strategy, I'm, I'm profitable four out of five times I trade. Most people would say, oh, man, that's incredible, right? It's almost okay. a meaningless statistic, you know? It's pretty, okay. it, it can almost I be misleading. Yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. That's uh, to make sure my thinking was either on the, uh, on the button or not. Well, so. One of the hardest things, um, because this isn't taught anywhere, you know, you hear this, at, at certain real streaks in the market, you hear this different times. Like in the last 20 years, I've heard it three or four times. And one strategy that people have always seemed to make a lot of money on, and but you never hear the other side of it, how they blow up the account in two seconds, is selling calls <laughs> just in the option market, okay? So right, selling exactly. calls in the option market has been a very profitable business for very long periods of time because when you have a market that's continually going up, you're selling a call, right? Well, right. what is not said is that whether it's the downdraft of 1994, whether it's downdraft of 2000, or 2000 or 2007, those accounts, like millions and millions of dollars, got blown up in a week and a half, and everything was lost. Yeah. So that's what I think you, you really got to understand inside 
this is the a markets little, in general. It is. You know so that's I mean? a good point because you're you dealing know? with some some optionality of it. Yeah. Um, this is a little bit different. Oh no, you're not going to. Your, your your risk is completely defined. Right. But just to put things. So again, we're dealing with the 20 minutes, and just to put again. So this trade, Mike, right, and it's moving a little bit as we go, but still we're looking at we're at 50, 57, even the 50, 60 right now. If you sell it, you're risking 73 to make 26. On the flip right. side. You'd be buying the 50-52. You're risking 88 to make 12. So your maximum right. profit is only $38, okay? And that's right. if it stays in there, and you have $100 at risk. At risk. So you're okay. risking, you know, almost, you need to be successful at least 70%, almost percent of the time to be profitable in that strategy. So that's where, you know, okay. when you start talking about, you know, maybe... But bottom line is, if you're making hundreds and hundreds of trades and you're showing a profit, that's encouraging, man. You know, right. for sure. Because bottom line profit. Yeah. That's, yeah. It is. All it right. is. Well, thank you all very much, and you all have a safe, long weekend. You too, You Mike. also, man. Have a great one. Have a thank safe you. one. Yeah, it's, it's you know, the, all these strategies, it's pretty cool when you do that many trades. And when you cut to the chase, folks, it's just the chase of, do you make money? The bottom line, sure. the, percent, the percentage, because sure. that, that's what it comes down to. Sure. You know. In in the same way, though, you know, just, and I'm sure Mike's maybe listening, you know, $1,600 is great, right? But if you're making 300 trades and you're risking $100, right, that can go yeah. away really quickly sometimes when you're, 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 risk, you're, you're making high probability trades, okay? So right. you're going to be successful more often than not, but as a result, you're risking more than you stand to make. So to put things on the other way, the, the way that we usually like to trade, and it's just our methodology, is we like to risk less for low probability trades. Right. So let's say you're risking 20 to make the 80, right? You could say to somebody, oh man, I lose three out of four times on my trades, right? right. Instantly people say, oh man, you must be losing you know, right. your butt. No, you're not, because right. you're only risking 20 to make 80. Right. So you, know, you only have right. to be successful one out of five times and meanwhile, you know, you're, you're successful one out of four times, and you're making a killing. Right. So that all comes into it, for sure. It, it does. And, yeah, so it's, yeah. Pretty, it's pretty cool. And that's why the risk-reward, and that's, you know, from what we talked about before, we're getting just the article I wrote where, you know, on one essence, you're buying it for 26 to make 73. Right. You wait some time, you're, you're buying it for 14 to make 85. It's insane. It's huge. You know, yeah. risking one to make six versus risking one to make three. Right. Huge difference. Big time. Especially Big when you start talking about hundreds and hundreds of trades. That's right. Yeah. And that's what ends up happening in the marketplace. <laughs> well, kudos to Mike for keeping track, making hundreds of trades. He's starting uh, to deal with a sample that is more than legitimate. Right. For sure. Yeah. Because yeah. now he's got an answer. He does. You know, that's, that's, that's what's really cool, He does. Too. You know, you gain confidence in what you're doing, and it helps you, and yeah. And you see how these contracts trade, too. Right. Which is right. huge. He's used to how things right. work. He knows Big the pricing. Time. Right. Big time. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have uh, the Dow right now uh, up 14, Nasdaq's up 31, S&P's are up uh, 8. Percentage-wise, this is what you have happening up here. You get the Dow up 7, uh, well, the 700s. Um, Nasdaq is the mover. It's up uh, one half a percent. We're going to be right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. 
Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of tfnm.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Steve up in Alaska. Hey, Steve, what's going on? Uh, you, brother, you. <laughs> you're going um, on too, just, man. Yeah, you're definitely going on. <laughs> hey, it's early in the oh, morning up oh, there, isn't it? I know. It? What time is it right now? Where are you in Alaska, Steve? <clears throat> I'm uh, up on the Arctic Ocean in a little Eskimo village called Barrow. Well, we, Very we, cool. we know Barrow. We haven't been there, but we know it. Very cool. <laughs> I got some baleen so, out of there a long time ago by a couple of those whaling captains up there. There you go. Yeah. 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 Was it, uh, you know, was it, you know, scribed? Did they draw pictures it on it? It was scribed, yeah. They, they, were, they were, you know, uh, they were natives. Yes. Yeah. I, they were, when we had an office up there and they would be down in Anchorage quite a bit. And uh, our office is right down the street from the Sheridan. So I, I meet these guys at the Sheridan. Yeah. They'd bring goods oh, cool. coming into Anchorage, yeah. All right, all right. Well, what I called in about was, uh, you know, the previous caller and what he was doing. I'd like to suggest that maybe he should employ some trade management. Um, you know, you got to know when you're wrong. I can suggest a number, but he needs to play with it within his, his trade system. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um you know, 60 might be a good number to start at. Let's say, you know, he he buys in it, it you know, whatever, you know, and it, it, gosh, w where am I wrong? That's the question you got to ask. And you can cut one side or the other or both and and improve his performance, I think. Uh, I, I myself have done lots of trades, you know, of what he's doing. And, you know, it's, 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 for each to his own, but to do 1,600 trades or 350 trades and make $1,600, a lot of work. That's a lot of screen time. It's a lot uh, of time, so, and that's why I had pointed out that percentages are king. And, you know, how much money did you just put at risk, right, versus, you know. Well, I believe what he was saying, too, yep. that uh, what Mike was saying, that he was sim trading it. I be, so that's, he? Okay, that's, I'm not sure of that. I believe that's, that's what he had said. I'm he had sure it in the, in the simulator. Okay, I'm um, not sure. Yeah, but it's possible, yeah. yeah. If you do that much screen time, you're going to be spending money at the optometrist. You know, you, you, <laughs> you know, 20 minute trade. No, it's true. I that's mean, it's say six hours a day, I yeah. think, you know, oh, yeah. and that's going for Big some time, um, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, for so, sure. So, so, what I guess what I'm saying is, you know, if he's buying at, say, 80 and selling at 20 he's he needs to find a number to where he can cut that baby quick or uh you know maybe even double up if, it, if it's looking good but but to sit there and wait for that uh 
you know, take that eighty dollar pain on a on a twenty dollar cell will will eat your lunch and in time, like Tommy says. So, you know, maybe uh, you know, maybe wait for that trade where you're. Uh, you know, picking up 33 bucks or... Yeah, uh, I, I, it's a great idea, bucks. and I, hopefully Mike's listening, he can take a look, because, you know, you always want to be doing your homework, and maybe yeah. it's something where if he's... And, you know, Mike, man, he is doing his homework, that's for sure. And that, that, so I think that's the point. You go right. over and you analyze your trades, and maybe, you and know, you're looking at, you know what, these are where I'm most profitable, you know, and I, right. I shouldn't be doing them every hour. I should be doing them only when they line up in this position, and guess what, you know, when I cut my losses, and he didn't get into it too much, but he is using some stops he was talking about, maybe $25 here and there. Right. Um, so maybe he is doing that a little bit, but that's great advice, man. And it just speaks to the same deal where it's like, you know, because you start looking at it, right? $1,600. Yeah. Man, if you're, if you're working for a whole month, that's, you oh. know, you can do anything and make $1,600. You can go play on the beach, you know what I mean? And hang out. Yeah. So. Well, hey, listen, Steve, thanks so much for calling. I know like in Barrow, so the time wise. What time is it right now, Steve? Yeah. I I started 4 a.m. with John. I love all the shows. Everybody's got something great going on. And the guy that called into John yesterday was on time. Everybody does really great. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Thanks for calling, man. Call uh, back, definitely. Stay right there, both folks. Basil's coming right up. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.